Hi, welcome to The Painted Lady. My name is Nick, and I'm doing a video about Rex Yurman and his wife, Asa Ellerup. They, he is the alleged serial killer, Long Island serial killer, and is in prison. Now I did a remote view, and I just wanted to talk on that just for a minute. I did this remote view, but rem remote views are usually for like now, I could do a remote view of him in prison or of her and what they're thinking about, you know, picking up on that. But you can also do it on past events and especially for locations. You know, this is something that actually the government does with people. They get psychics and they train them to be remote viewers. So I just did a quick remote view on uh, Asa or Asa, I don't really know how to pronounce it. We'll say Asa Ellerup. And does she, did she know? Now I did a video on this before, but I just wanted to re-ask with the remote view. And it was very interesting because basically it was yes and no. She had a sense, she had an intuition that he was doing this, especially when the murders came out. Um, it was all over the papers, on the news, all over Long Island, New York. And so if you had a suspicion that there was something not right, you would, and she did, question, was he involved? Was this his, you know, could he possibly have done this? So she, for a long time suspected her husband of doing horrific things. Now, I went back to a period of time when they were sw swingers. When she first met him, she was, you know, pretty innocent in that he brought all this stuff, but she was open to it. He brought all this into their life, the swinging, and he coerced her. He's a good manipulator and he coerced her. So at the beginning, it was more of partying, going out with friends. And then it was just this sort of thing that was, you know, she was groomed for it basically, that she should go along with this, that he would like to do this. And wouldn't it be great? And you're gonna love this type of thing. and. Um, don't you find that person attractive or what, you know, what have you, whatever he did. But that's what I was picking up from them being together. I was doing a remote view of them in the past when they were in one of those swingers clubs. And she was very much into it. But you also have to remember there were drugs and alcohol involved and, you know, they were much younger. So this was like, you know, she wanted to keep him happy. It was, it was risk taking, it was exciting. So she was in, into this, but he was so much more. He was so obsessive that she could not keep up with him and what he wanted to do. So this was also a way of you know, pushing him away a little bit where she didn't have to, you know, be so much involved because he was obsessed. He wanted to do this. He was obsessed. He wouldn't stop. He kept going. He wanted to do, be doing this all the time and he would have new locations and new people and new parties they could get into. So it was a very dark time, even though I saw at the beginning it was a dark time for her and that she never expected that it would turn into so much darkness that it would, it would get so bad. And now he had her basically, he had groomed her for this. He had, she had done a lot of things with him that he had the sort of story on her that he could use against her. So 
she felt shame. She felt a lot of shame in her behavior. Once, you know, she sobered up and she was starting to get tired of all this and it was becoming old for her, he had this sort of story against her that, you know, he would just bring up and say, well, you're not innocent. You wanted this. This was, this is your fault. You brought this upon us sort of thing. Like he would just blame her and she fell for it. She was, he was very strong. He's very manipulative and he's very obsessive, obsessive, compulsive, and he doesn't stop and he's violent. And in order to, she had a child with him. So in order to keep him satisfied, not get his anger up, she had to go along with him. So it was, it was about coercion and control, mind control. And, you know, she had children. So a lot of it was trying to be normal for their kids, trying to not, uh, have them involved in any way or just not getting his ang the being on the brunt of his anger type of situation so i just want to you know let's see how the story goes when i read the cards on this so i want to just ask about their relationship and just remember this is just my opinion this is for entertainment purposes only and I'm not trying to, he's, you know, innocent until proven guilty. And she has not been charged with anything. So I'm not accusing her of anything. This is all alleged. This is just for the purpose of a tarot and oracle card reading. Okay. Oh, two flipped. nature and teamwork hmm okay okay so maybe i have to look into this a little bit more out in nature teamwork what could they be doing out in nature that had some teamwork to it i really did not get that she has really hidden it well then because i didn't get any involvement with her Nothing whatsoever. Asa Elrup and her husband Rex Hulman. Resistance. Resistance. What does resistance mean? Resistance to what? Release. Resistance. Release. Okay. So that, I think that goes with what I was just saying that in order to resist him, to get him away, she had to sort of allow some of this to happen. She had to release her control of trying to control this situation in order to, you know, get him away from her. Hmm, this is interesting. Community. So there, she definitely knew that there was something going on because there was this community of men and if you watch the video that I did before this one I think James Burke and other men were involved in some kind of drug sex parties maybe involving you know uh bondage sadomasochist stuff Mimicry. She was mimicking him. She's mimicking him. I just go along with whatever he says. There is a curiosity. She did have a curiosity about what was going on. Did she know that he was actually murdering people? Did she have suspicions or did she know? Ooh, dominance card came up again for him. He That's sad, very sad, dominating her. And illusion, he was gaslighting her. 
Illusion, delusion, you're not seeing this. It's not what you think, honey. Okay. Now let's take out the tarot. I'm using, uh, this is called Murder of Crows Tarot. I had, I had it somewhere. <laughs> oh well, you'll, you'll understand, you'll get to know me. <laughs> I'm a little flaky. Okay, King of Cups. So he's definitely someone who was in control of this situation, but did she know? The Queen of Pentacles, the stay-at-home mom. Well, I think she was a nurse or worked in nursing, but hmm, I feel like these two together, she's not, she didn't come up as a page. She didn't come up as a, a small card here. She came up as a queen. And he's a king. So they could be acting in cahoots a little bit. Even though it wasn't her idea. The hanged man. She's looking at this situation from an alternative point of view. His point of view, basically. She's not looking at it normally, as most people would be looking at it. There was a lot of battling between them. If she started anything, it would be, it would become a whole, if she mentioned anything, it would become a whole battle. She didn't want to bring that, she didn't want to bring that upon herself and her family. So, but did you know he was killing people? Oh boy, two cards jumped out. This is the six of um, cup, I mean the seven of cups. So there's illusion here, illusion, delusion. <laughs> she was trying not to know with the tower card. She knew something bad was going on. She knew this wasn't good at all, but he, he was gaslighting. He was definitely gaslighting. Did she participate though? Did she ever participate in murdering or getting rid of a body? Okay, Six of Cups, the past. Eight of Cups, walking away, leaving the situation behind past, leaving it behind. I mean, that could be what she's trying to do now, walking away from what she knew. You know, this is a person, the uh, Four of Swords is a person who retreats. Um, this can also be a death-like card, but I see it as her being removed. I'm removing myself. I don't, I don't want to see or know what's going on. Yeah. She saw what was going on, Ace of Pentacles. She she knew exactly what was going on, but she was removing herself. He was too strong, the strength card. She was a mother, the Empress. She, she was worried about her kids. She was worried about, you know, he was so controlling and dominant, and he also was very much about hunting and I'll hunt you down and I'll kill you. So you'll never get away from me type of thing. She's being quiet, the hermit. She just kept to herself, kept it quiet. She did it, she would say for her family, for her children. And yes, card, she knew. She knew exactly. Unfortunately, she knew about the deaths. So did she, participate in it? Let's, let's just ask, did she participate? Mm. The Two of Swords. She has the blinders on. She put her blinders on. Did, Asa Elra, did she participate? Or is she just, no, did she participate? That's what I'm asking. Table. 
So it's the the King of Pentacles now. I just see that as more control. Oh, and the devil. He's demonic. I mean, oh, I shouldn't put that up close. <laughs> it's kind of pornographic. Um, yeah, she knew. She knew what was going on. Look at the chains there. But she was bound to him, tied to him. She felt she couldn't get out of the situation. She knew what was going on. I don't. He was so controlling. Yeah, he was so controlling. She knew what he, I think he was burying. She knew he was burying things. Um, he also might have told her the Knight of Cups and the Judgment card. That there was nothing she could do about it. I did, it's not giving me a yes or no did she actually help move bodies? Um, temperance, I'd say no, no. She just knew about it. Very, very disturbing. And we're at 16 minutes now. Let me see what other. Oh, well, yeah, I wanted to know about that death book, it's, it's, I remember that book. It was out, I think, in the night, in the early 90s. It was, I think it was crime scene photos. Sort of like a coffee table book. How sick is that? How freaking sick is that? Um, yeah. I just want to know why that was found on the kitchen table. So, I mean, I'm hearing that through YouTube. I don't know that for a fact but it was taken from the house, so why? Why, you know, did she have a morbid taste growth? Maybe she grew into it. Anomaly, these people are weird. I'm sorry, They're, they are the anomaly. They are not like, one of these things is not like the others. <laughs> She had a she had a morbid curiosity. I I think it grew on her that growth card there. It grew on her. He luck luck was on their side. She got lucky that she wasn't charged. Abundance card. She was very much worried about her position in life, even though she lived, I mean, what I don't understand is if he wanted that crappy house, why didn't he just build them another house and live in the other house? Like, keep that house if you want it for your memories. Um, you're an architect. He, his office was on Park Avenue, Manhattan. He had a ton of money, this guy. He had other homes. Why did they live in that home? Very bizarre. Um, get mimicry again. Um, that's with the book, I think. You know, when you hang around people that you start becoming like the people that, you know, the company that you keep. She was starting to become like him. It's a morbid curiosity. Yeah, I'm getting the same card. She was very worried about her abundance. She was very worried about her money and having that status, even though they lived in this dilapidated, dirty house. Um, she wanted that lifestyle. She wanted to be able to, to travel when she wanted. Maybe I don't have a nice house, but you know, I get to go away once a year. Uh, maybe she didn't have to work that much as she would have as she, if she was a single mother. But she's got memories, memories of older times when in the beginning, when it was all fun and curiosity and risky and we're just being swingers. 
she's remembering those times when it was fun and saying to herself, how did it, how did it become this? How did it ever become this? Now, I'm just going to quickly, I was gonna make a separate video, but I think I'll just make this video longer. This is gonna be about the, um, what did the daughter have to do with anything? Now, I just wanna say this, this is my point of view, my opinion. The, the family is weird, no doubt. Um, the wife's involvement is pretty shady. But do I think the daughter had anything to do with it? Absolutely not. So uh, when John Ray's press conference came out, I thought that was absolutely ridiculous. Um, Dr. Gary Bricado was on it. And so I thought, oh, wow, I better, you know, I want to see this because I respect him. You know, he's this researcher on, you know, serial killers and, you know, psych uh, psychologically how they behave. He's a researcher. He's written books about this. He knows everything there is to know about serial killers, mass murderers. So I respect him and the fact that he was at this press conference with John Ray, I thought there was going to be something there. Um, Gary was fine. He didn't say any, he was giving his opinion. So uh, that's fine. But the press conference was ridiculous. It reminded me of the eight, 1980s satanic panic. He mentions witchcraft and look, she, you know, about the daughter of Victoria. Oh, she made it a human skull. I'm sorry, do you know that skulls, <laughs> skeletons and skulls are pop culture? Um, if that was the case, I'd be arrested because I, I paint skulls, I have skulls, I even have skulls. I have a, a skull t-shirt. I have skull tarot cards. I read tarot cards. I like witchcraft. <laughs> like, you could, you know, you could put me away. If that was, if you're just looking at that and somebody who has an online Tumblr account, number one, we don't know. That could have been her father's account, her mother's account. It could have been anybody's account. Doesn't necessarily mean it was her. If it was her, how old was she? 15, 16, 17 when she made it? Like, she was really young. How many teenagers do you know that are rebellious, go through a dark phase, they might dress very dark, they might dress goth? I know adults who are goth. I know adults that like dark essence. I like dark essence, you know, dark things. I'm interested in it. I like dark art. Um, I just don't think that was called for to accuse Victoria when she hasn't been charged and put up this, put up other people's art. She had one, one of the pieces was her art piece. Yeah, it was risque. Yes, it was sexual and, you know, cannibalism, whatever. I don't know. I don't remember what the picture was, but... I think it had dismemberment of someone's body, of a woman's body. I'm not condoning this. This I don't like horror. I don't like I don't like this kind of art that's horrific sort of art. Skulls, dark themes are okay. I just I don't like blood, guts, gore. I don't like that. I see that she could have I mean, there's many people that like horror. There's a whole horror film genre. There's people that love that. You can't judge just by that because the sins of the father, what he did doesn't mean she did it. What he did doesn't mean his wife did anything. But to look, they should look into it. And of course the police are. I don't think 
there was any reason for John Ray to go out and put that information out there because he's basically accusing someone of something without any evidence. And yes, circumstantial evidence is can be used. You can gather it up. But he had no actual facts that would lead to anything. It was just circumstantial. It's a blog. It's someone's um, persona that they put out on the internet. How many other people take different pictures of themselves and put it out there? You're, you're creating a persona online, which is se separate from your everyday personality. And online, um, I look different than who I am offline. You know, it's just people are not who they are online. They are different. And because you are putting out, it's cosplay. It's, you know, you're putting out a persona of something else, maybe. So I don't think she did anything wrong. But I'm going to ask the cards. <laughs> just because I can. Did she have anything to do with it? The fool card. No, she was foolish in wearing that shirt with the skeletons on it when her father was just charged, but I don't think she really, this is just stuff she likes. Um, yeah, nine of cups. That's a yes card. Did she have anything to do with it? I think she, the yes is about her knowing, I think she knew her father was kind of shady. Uh, the Ace of Wands. She's raised by shady characters. Ace of Wands. She has a she has a strong personality, I feel, even though she might come off as shy or whatever. She has strong feelings about what's happened. I don't think she's blase about it. Seven of Wands. I think all of them, when when bodies were found on Long Island, and they know that the father, husband is a hunter, Eight of Pentacles. Is that the eight? Yeah, Eight of Pentacles. Um, I have a feeling she has kind of a dark personality because of who she's raised by. I think when the information came out. I mean, she would have been a little kid, but growing up around it, she would have seen her father's personality, his love of guns, of killing things. And I think she had an idea as well of what he was up to. This is the 10 of swords. This whole thing has been devastating for her. So I'm, I'm going on record as saying she had nothing to do with it. She might have a dark personality, um, but it doesn't mean she had anything to do with it. And I think that's it for now. Uh, I want to do another video this week sometime for poor little um, Madeline Soto. I want to look at, I'm very interested in these families and what they knew. I want to look into that and um, what is her name? Mika? Mika Miller? The case with the, uh, the woman who supposedly killed herself or unalived herself. Ooh. Um, her husband is a pastor of a church. So I want to look into that case. I'm interested in that case. Um, if there's a case you would like me to look into, please let me know. In the comments below if you can make a comment below give me a thumbs up and please subscribe if you'd like to see more true crime tarot readings and psychic uh, readings thanks for watching everyone bye bye